Now. As we move on to 133, ranked fifth in the nation, Luke Pletcher taking on Anthony Tudelo, who is a graduate transfer from Kent State wrestling for the Spartans now. Yes, yeah, so this is a rematch of last year, the Thanksgiving throwdown. Um, it was a close bout. I believe it was 3-2 to two, yep. uh, in favor of Luke Pletcher. Well, and it's a Luke Pletcher match. That's pretty, pretty standard is. fair. Very, it, it was early on in the season, so you weren't quite used to it. Right. Um, so it was a little nerve-wracking, but uh, you got used to those very slim margin of victories for Luke. I, I don't know if there are many guys who manage those low-scoring matches any better than Luke Pletcher does. Right. I mean, there's, there's a couple guys that come to mind, like uh, like a Kyle, Kyle Dake had a couple close matches. Um, Dean Hiles won, who similar to Luke Pletcher would play with fire, quote-unquote, yep. and... Uh, you know, eventually, as we know, Dean Howell got burned on that. Um, but Luke, so far, have been able to, to close out pretty well. well. Pletcher from Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Tudelo is actually an Ohio product, a uh, two-time state champ from Lake Catholic High School. So my neck of the woods, yep. Venner, Ohio. Yeah, Tudelo's 13 and nine on the on the year, redshirt senior. Pletcher is 15 and one. He is a, a true junior. Well, one, one thing I've noticed so far this this year with Luke is uh, he, he's opened up his, his margin of victory um, a lot. I think he had like maybe three bonus point victories total last year. He's already got three pins this year. Um, so it's good to see that he, he's opening up a little bit more, willing to score more points. Um, and a, lot, a lot of times, you know, you know, he, he wrestled as a, a true freshman, but he, he, was, he wasn't as uh, his natural weight. He was wrestling for right. 41 when Keyshawn got hurt. Um, but I think it, when he came back down to 33 next year, he, he almost wanted to like, play it safe and just get, get an All-American, get that under his belt. Um, I think this year he's kind of opening up. Goes a well, headlock. Well, hit an arm. You don't see that very often on a college match. Oh, wow. And that's why. He, he tried to – or not tried. He hit a headlock attempt in uh, – in the Indiana match, too. It was successful. He got the takedown, but not, not any near fall. So there the takedown goes to Tudelo, and then a stall warning against him for staying down below the waist for a five-count plus. So Pletcher starting off the bottom. And, and I certainly think you're, you're on to something there. As a junior, good job moving his, uh, moving his feet there to get the escape. You've got all that experience in the bank. Fourth in the nation last year. He get, mm. gets the All-American. You can feel a lot more comfortable in your own skin and then maybe just open things up and, and take some more chances, as he right. did there. Yep. Which, And I'm, I'm sure that he, even though he didn't get the takedown there, I'm sure the coaching staff enjoys seeing that for a guy that you'd like to see have a, a wider variety of offense, find different ways to score. Because the matches that he did lose last year, oftentimes it were, they were those same kind of low-scoring matches by and large where he just didn't have maybe that one extra attack right. that could have been the difference in the match. I, I agree with you, except for his last match against uh, Tariq Wilson. He uh, kind of dug himself in a hole yes. early, and then he yes. just went big move, headlock attempt, <laughs> headlock attempt, inside trip attempt, and it kind of compounded his, his loss because yeah. um, he was – the, uh, those moves didn't really work out in his favor. Well, um, yeah, and that's and that's the thing when a match gets a little bit open, when you've got to do that, it can look ugly at the end with right. the score. Even though that's not really indicative of the way that the match was wrestled, and and Wilson provides a strange test for Pletcher because mm -hmm. of their vast difference in body styles. Right. Yeah. Very. Too good to his feet, but Pletcher almost runs him out of bounds. It's a nice good mat return. return. Almost ran right into the uh, the easy chair there <laughs> in the very front row. Wrestling on the edge. Looks like we'll probably go out of bounds. Luke trying to keep him in, get that riding time. It's up to 22 seconds now. We'll get a restart. Well, you can see as they go back to the middle, these, these body styles are very, very similar, almost carbon copies of one another. Yep. And Tariq Wilson has so much length. And of course, he was injured in their, in their match earlier this year. Yeah. Yeah, it looked like he tweaked his ankle or something with his foot. Um, but yeah, it's like you almost expect that looking at his legs are so skinny. Right. It's like, but yeah, how do you how do you stand on those things? Right. Just over a minute to go here in the period, and Pletcher trying to maintain his control. 
Riding time up to 45 seconds. Got to be careful he doesn't get hit for Stalin here. And there, there it, it is. is. Yep. So it's each, yeah, every, every, everybody's been hit with the same thing now. Sometimes it's worth it to take the stall call there. Um, you know, he's close to that minute of riding time at 59 seconds right now. Yep. And, you know, that first stall call doesn't really count for anything, so might as well use it. Well, and you get here where you now want to build another 20 seconds of riding time mm -hmm. so that come the next period, Luke will probably you, go down. You can get yeah. out before that expires. Heck, if he gets 20 seconds, might as well go for the ride out. Yeah, that'll bring the clock down to about 20 remaining. He's over a minute now of riding time. Tutelo to his feet, and again, now you can't take another stall warning here because that negates your riding time. Right. right. A good mat return there from Luke Pletcher, and under 30 on the clock here. Right back to his feet. And you're exactly right. If he can ride this period out, not only does he get close to, he wouldn't lock the riding point in, but... I gotta tell you, Tudo is probably using a lot of energy yes. right now. Yes, that is. That That's takes a lot of energy to get to your feet. That the many thing times. I think that people who haven't wrestled a competitive match in many years, watching at home or who have never wrestled, fail to remember is just how many cobs you're burning as a bottom man trying to get off. Right. With somebody who really knows how to ride, and that was a really good ride out. Right. For Luke Fletcher. Good period for Luke. Doesn't give up the escape and. Assuming he gets out pretty quickly, uh, could lock up the riding point. Yeah, that's a double win. So now, of course, Tudelo's not going to concede. He's going to continue to push the pace even if Pletcher does get off the bottom. Right. He might try to ride for a little. I uh, mean, knock that riding time down a little bit. But Luke gets away. So the match even now, two apiece. Ends right now, though. Luke's got the riding time point, so... Um, but none of them can really be resting right here. Right, and this is, again, one of those situations where Pletcher, as a match manager, can look active, can get to his shots, but keep himself in very good defensive position to not allow anything, knowing that if the match finishes this way, he's got the victory. But n not only does he have to look active, he has to be active, because he does have that stall call. So one more stall call, and uh, it's effectively, effectively a, a time match here. Yeah. Low ankle attempt there, but Tudelo also has to make it. I mean, if, you, if you want to get that stalling call, if you're Tudelo, you've got to look active as well. You've got to be taking your shots. You've got to be aggressive right. offensively. There he finally was, but we're a minute into the period, and that's really his first offensive attempt. Right. A lot of guys in this kind of situation, they'll wait till there's about, like, maybe 30 seconds left, give a burst of a couple shots. Oh, boy, nice go behind. Got to get down to the mat for the takedown. Uh, nothing yet. And now we're roll through. Tudelo coming out the like back Tudelo's door. Position here. He's got the height. Pletcher holding on to that yet. ankle on the inside. Oh, wow. Pletcher. If he can keep that. Two give points. A take down to Pletcher. Two points for takedown for Pletcher. The challenge cube is, or I well, think Both they, challenge cubes are out. <laughs> I'm not sure if the rest screwed up there on who they awarded the takedown to. Well, this we're going to get an explanation here. Yeah, both coaches are challenging. Let's this watch the replay here. This was a tremendous scramble. Okay, so nothing there. Tudelo passes the leg. Well, they continued on. We didn't get a chance to see the, the scoring moment. And then after the two points were awarded, I think the Ohio State bench must have thought that the wrong hand went up because they immediately, even right. though they got the takedown, they threw out the challenge cube. And I think the ref meant to give... Two to load the take. I down. think I I am with you on that. Based upon the action, the scramble, and where things well, they never really settled all that much. Yeah. But where they did settle, I I'm with you in that. I think he meant to give the takedown to Tudelo. Right now, if that's the case, let's break this down. If that's the case, I don't I don't know if it be, was a takedown though. Well, I I don't know either. I I would not have been surprised to see no points there at all. But if it's changed. Right now, the score is 4-3 to three, Pletcher with riding time. If that's changed and an escape was awarded, it would be 4-3 to three, Tudelo. Pletcher still has riding time, effectively making it a 4-4 four, four match, and riding time is locked in because with 26 right. seconds left, you could not, even if, uh, well, now if Tudelo gets a, a takedown, that would change the situation, certainly. Right. So but, how does this, or here we get the, the replay again. Tudelo coming out the back door. So Getting good right height. there, right there would be the only time. Luke they gets could the have ankle before Pletcher grabbed the ankle. He doesn't. So Tudelo doesn't have the ankle locked. 
He's not behind. No. That right there is where the two was issued. Yeah, I don't see and a takedown I don't there. see a takedown there at all. So I'm also curious because both coaches threw out the challenge cubes. So who's challenging it? Well, my guess is Michigan State is challenging the ruling of the takedown. I don't know if Ohio State wanted to challenge that on the initial mat return when Pletcher was behind and Tudelo rolled through that there should have right. been a takedown right then. Yeah, because there's uh, no reaction time on uh, when it's standing. Let's see what they're going to do here. So calling the mat stands, so I think they're going to. So now. Okay. Okay. So, okay. It was. Okay, he did hold up the wrong hand. So we have here, even though the score reads 4-3, to three, we've got ourselves a tie match. Right, it should be 4-4. Four four. Well, well if, if effectively yes, it's 4-4. Four effectively 4-4. Four. Four yeah. So next takedown is going to win this one in all likelihood. Oh. And Tudelo in on the shot. He's in deep. Nice shin wizard by Luke. Got a lot of weight on it. Oh, comes out the back door. Now he's, he's behind him. He's to return. Nope. Wow. What an a lot exchange. of action here in the last minute. Down to five on the clock. I thought Luke was going to get it. Very, very close. Looks like we're going to OT. Sudden victory. So Tudelo comes in here unranked. Right. And has given Luke Pletcher all he wants. The one minute on the clock. First point scores wins. Another close match, just yes, like last indeed. year. Set the clock properly. And now we're ready to go. Crowd trying to cheer on Luke. So Tudelo with the only two takedowns in this match. Yeah, that's right. The only offensive points. Luke in a high on a shot there. Now the question is, can he finish? Another scramble position. Fletcher looked like he was trying to spin. Now you got to get up on the waist there. Fletcher needs to get that right arm and through. Tudelo trying to fire away. Still wrestling. Wow. wow I'm surprised there's Just not a, a mat return awarded there. He was on his hands. Wow. Pass the leg is through. Tudelo. And potentially dangerous wow. to call will be a stoppage. Well. This is a great match. It certainly is. Great shot for Fletcher. Tremendous defense from Tudelo. Yeah. Fletcher looks to be maybe a little bit hobbled. Yeah, a little, a little slow getting back to center. Just 10 seconds left before we go to ride outs. And I think Tudelo's probably not too excited about the no. ride outs given how uh, it went last time. But again, we talked about the energy used during that match. Right. He still looks pretty good right now. Yeah. So now we're going to two 30 second ride outs. No sudden victory here. Both wrestlers will right. have their full opportunity to get off the bottom or get a turn. Both 30-second periods will be wrestled completely, and then if one wrestler has the advantage, then uh, yeah, he'll be the winner. Patrick very quickly to his feet and free. His escape. Took only two seconds on the clock to do Might that. Might try to capitalize on a takedown here. Sitting in front head, but we're going to stalemate. So there's two seconds of riding time for Tudelo, and that could come into play if we get to um, the later rounds of overtime. 15 left on the clock. And, and indeed, your, your point is a valid one. You don't want to waste those seconds. If you can accumulate points, mm -hmm. they all add up. Luke looks like he's going to be content going into the, the second ride out. Probably betting on his top skills again. Yeah, if he's got a 30-second ride in him right here, that's your match. Yep. So Luke with a one-point victory, or a one-point uh, margin right here. Short sit by Tudelo, trying to get hands and come up. Now, Tudelo's done a great job fending off takedown attempts, not so much getting oh, free. Great, nice match. great yeah. trip and return for Pletcher. Tudelo still coming up, right back to his feet. Now there is Luke a stall back. warning here yep. for Pletcher. He's got to return him. Wow. It's a lot of mat returns. Short time here. And that'll do it. Wow, what a match. 
Fletcher knew he couldn't drop down to a leg because he right. had been hit with stalling earlier. It looked like he wanted to for a second. Yep. 